So this is the Google Assistant uh, on the Lenovo Smart Display, and I'm going to show you some really cool things you can do around the house um, through, through some demos. You start on the ambient screen, which is showing Google Photos. This one's set up to um, a library for our demo user, who is Rachel. Um, so it's sort of beautifully ambient uh, uh, photos uh, going through. Um, you can choose other ambient screens as well that aren't photos, but most users we think will do photos. And from here, I can get very directly to our home screen. Come on. Hey, Google, go home. So here I've got a place where I can get to ongoing activities. Um, in this case, I have a an alarm that's running. Um, if I don't have ongoing activities, it gives me some suggestions on, on queries that might be useful for me, and uh, these are personalized. Of course, the device listens. Um, it uses voice match, so we know um, who's speaking, and we give you results that are uh, appropriate for you. Um, and on this space, I've got some reminders. I've got to pick up Joseph from daycare later. Um, these might be uh, also other recommendations if there aren't reminders for videos or things you might be interested in in YouTube. Uh, in this case, Rachel's got to uh, going to use the new routines feature, so she can say, "Hey Google, good morning." Good morning, Rachel. So you can't see a, a frame, but it is the 10:40 a.m. Light just worked. It turned Currently on. in Las Vegas, it's 59 and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 64 and a low of 44. The best way to get to work by car is via I-15 North and will take about 9 minutes in light traffic. Today at 6 p.m. you have teacher parent conference. Following that, today at 8 p.m. you have catch up with Jane. Have a wonderful day. In this case we've chained on uh, video news from YouTube. Current news. So this is live news, um, or whatever YouTube thinks is the most important or trending news right now. Um, so it's a really nice way to sort of have um, you know, a little mini TV in your kitchen, uh, be able to watch some things on YouTube. You can, of course, access anything uh, that's available in YouTube um, on the device quite easily. Um, now I need to pick up some donuts on the way to work, so I can say, hey Google, show me some bakeries nearby. I found several places near you. The first one is So this Carlos is leveraging uh, data from Google Maps and Google Local. So uh, we already have all of this stuff. We've just uh, built it into a, a really rich experience for this type of advice. In this case, I'm going to pick Carlos. Um, and uh, there's a Google Maps experience down here. So if I want to know, kind of oriented about where it is in the city, I can uh, you know, leverage Google Maps to do that quite beautifully and easily. Or I can even say, hey, Google, how do I get there? The best way to get to Carlos Bake Shop by car is via South Las Vegas Boulevard and will take about one minute. You can see the full directions on your phone. So one of the really cool features is that uh, it's integrated in with the Assistant everywhere. So uh, in this case, it sent those directions to your phone. So you can just really easily get to your phone and tap on them and, and start navigating to Carlos uh, quite simply. Um, another thing I want to do before I take off today is uh, check on the kids. So hey Google, show me the kids room. Sure, streaming the kids' room on Kitchen Smart Display. So we've worked with Nest to have a, a really simple and easy way to, uh, to get to your, your videos, uh, sorry, your cameras. Uh, this is our little Google baby um, up in Mountain View right now, but um, you know we can look at any Nest camera that's, that's associated with your account. Uh, we're working with Nest and, and we'll be launching with this, but uh, are also um, you know, interested in, in uh, having some discussions with others about uh, having their camera systems uh, you know, work in here as well. Um, now from here, one thing I want to do is figure out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Hey Google, what should I make for dinner? Here are a few options you might like. So this is using um, other data in Google. So we already have partnerships with New York Times Cooking and Tasty and all recipes um, to show this information. Um, so we, again, we put it into a really pleasing visual format. We have access to uh, you know photos and, and data for this. Sure, here you go. I'm going to go take a look at this roasted chicken recipe. It looks good. Um, I've got 30 minutes to make it, so I think I can do that. So, hey Google, start cooking. Great, let's get started. There are nine ingredients. I'll read them one by one. Let me know when you're ready for the next ingredient. So, you know, you get a really simple to follow through. You can use your voice to actually go through these cooking steps. Um, I have no idea how to prepare rosemary, so, hey Google, how do I prepare rosemary? Playing matching video on YouTube. So again, I can jump very quickly into uh, YouTube and, and check out a video on how to how to solve this problem for me. Uh, Google has uh, YouTube has answers to lots of different questions, and they're all available all the time. 
Uh, now, while I'm cooking, I might want to listen to some music. Hey, Google, show me some relaxing music stations. I found a few stations. So, you know, these are from Google Play Music, uh, and it's sort of pretty easy to um, select one of the stations um, and just have Playing it. Playing the Google Play Music station called Acoustic Pop. Have it come up, and I get a beautiful visual experience with it. Due to the Wi-Fi, sometimes the uh, albums take a little while to come back down. Uh, of course, I could say, hey, Google, next. There's the album art. Um, so you get this nice, beautiful visual experience along with it. Um, you can, of course, use the touchscreen to do the same controls as well um, for this. Um, so now dinner's over, and I want to uh, do a little homework. Hey, Google, show me the seven wonders of the world. There are seven wonders of the ancient world. Here are the first three. Great pure. So this is all leveraging Google search. Um, so you can see it's got uh, you know the information and the visuals that are associated with it that we know from from the web. And I can go into you know one of these, for example, the pyramids of Giza, um, and look through, get a little more information about it. I have some suggestion chips that allow me to have other pivots, just like you do in uh, Google Assistant on your phone. Um, you, know, you can even look at the photos. Uh, and this reminds me that we took a, treat, a trip to Egypt several years ago, so I can... Hey Google, show me my photos from Egypt. Showing your photos of Egypt. So this uh, uses Google Photos um, service to, to actually do this automatic identification. I didn't actually tag any of these. Um, the, the Google Photos experience actually identified them as being what I was asking for when I said Egypt. Um, and it worked, worked pretty well. So I can go into this and sort of have a, a beautiful, rich experience. Um, we've got a lot of ideas on other ways that we can enhance this in the future. Um, and this reminds me that my mom was on the trip, so I want to just give her a quick call and, um, and uh, just reminisce about it. Hey Google, call mom. Calling mom mobile. So you get this real immediate um, ability to, to make connections. Let's see who mom is today. Oh, hi mom. Mom, how are we doing? Good, good. You've grown a little facial hair, Mom. Yeah, well, you know, that time of year. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You got it, kids. Bye-bye. Bye. So anybody who has Duo installed on their phone um, has the ability to uh, be, you know, be called immediately. That's simply from the device. It's, it's after dinner. We've got the homework done. It's time for a little bit of fun. Hey, Google, I'm feeling lucky. So this is a game that's available on all Google Assistant uh, devices. Uh, so if you ask one of the Google Assistant speakers, you can play this with just your voice. And in this case, we've created a visual experience to go along with it. It makes it a lot more fun. Welcome back, Rachel. It's trivia time. It's a search question. Lucky you. You're four for five in this category. Which game of chance is searched for the most on Google? Blackjack, slots. I'm gonna or guess poker. slots. Slots. Uh, wrong. No, sorry. For the last five years, more people in the U.S. searched for poker. Good thing we aren't playing for money. So you can see this is a, um, you know, again a sort of a first-party experience. Um, we are working. This is a platform that we'll be talking more about later. Um, where we're going to be able to have third parties create these anyway, type of experiences. that first question was also the last question. This demo is hecka short. Thanks for playing. See you later this year. And uh, really excited to, to bring it to market and with, uh, with a bunch of other experiences as well. So uh, thanks very much. Could you, Josh, just a second. Yeah. Could you do uh, just a couple more like Google Home type things? Like, uh, could you do like tell me a joke or... Hey Google, happy birthday. You're too kind. Thanks. Uh, hey Google, self destruct. Self destructing in three, two, one. Actually, I think I'll stick around. Hey Google, how far is it to the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. 